When making your maps or your images for the Cold War website, uh, you're going to want to use Google Drawings. And so I'm going to go here to into my Google Drive. I'm going to click on New. I don't see Google Drawings here, so I go down to More. Here's Google Drawings. If I can't find it there, I can always go up here uh, to the waffle and look for it there myself. But Google Drawings is available. Once I'm in here, it gives me a blank canvas. Unfortunately, the image that I create is going to be the size of this entire canvas. So I don't want this canvas to be this big. Uh, I believe I can change that under Page Setup, File, Page Setup. I can go here, I can make it custom. Um, I don't want it by inches, I want it by pixels. What I want is an image that's no more than probably 600 by 400. So I'm going to set that width 600, height 400 pixels. And I'm going to click OK. And it doesn't look like it did a whole lot, but if I go up here to view and I go to 100%, you can see that it's really shrunk down the size of that canvas. So now my canvas is ready. So the first thing I have to do is go find a map that's good. Uh, I'm going to grab this one right here. I know you can't see that, but I'll bring it over here in just a second. So I've copied a map off of Google Images and I'm pasting it on here. Yes, I want to allow it. It's creating it. Here it is. And I'm going to fit this thing on here the best I can. And so it's pretty close. And the reason I don't want, you can kind of see there's a little bit of extra here and here. Um, that's okay. That's going to be part of my picture, but it's not a big deal. But if I had this really large canvas, then I've got the, all this extra space that I don't want. So here's my picture. And what I've taken is a general regional map, so I can see that this is the Middle East, uh, but I can I have a general idea that hey, it's it's somewhere near Africa. Here's the Middle East, really. Uh, lots of different countries. I can still kind of see where Europe is, so it gives me a point of reference about where on the globe I'm looking. That's what I want, so I don't want just some small map. In this case, I'm going to be outlining Afghanistan, and so I'm going to use my line tool to do that. So I'm going to go in here to select a line. I want the scribble line, and that makes it easy because then I can draw by clicking and holding and drawing my line around the area that I am discussing for this particular proxy war. There it is. So there's my line. You can see I've highlighted it, but I want to probably make that a little bit larger, make the color stand out a little bit better. I want to make that red. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. And you can see uh, that it that it changes it and really kind of highlights and makes that stand out a little bit better. Um, so I can play around with those things. Okay. Um, and once I have that, then I'm ready to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I name this properly. So I'm going to say uh, Afghanistan, oops, Afghanistan. Okay, so now I've got my image. It's saving that into my Google Drive. Um, but what it is, it's a different kind of a format. So actually now what I need to do is I need to file... I need to download this as a JPEG. So I'm going to need to download it. Here we go. Uh, it, it goes into my downloads folder section. Uh, and so <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here. Okay. Uh, I don't want to look at it. But then when I go back to my page, and here's Afghanistan, and I want to insert this in here. I'm going to edit and I want to insert it. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go to insert an image. I've got to go find it. Upload images. It should be in my downloads somewhere. Um, it may not be because I'm on a regular computer um, and I think it still said it was in my Google Docs somewhere. Uh, so maybe I need to go deal with that. But I would normally find it here if I'm using the Chromebooks. And once I find it in here, I can double click on it. And then it'll show me the image right here. And then I click OK. And it'll put it in there for me. And that's really what I want to do. So that's how you make your maps, highlight the area, and then insert them into your web page. And then don't forget to save.